Okay, so I'm a storyteller, and the reason why I'm laughing is I just got off the phone. Uh, I painted a part of my ceiling today, and apparently I didn't paint it right. I didn't put enough paint on the roller, and I gotta tell you, I am a terrible painter. I just am. My father was a brilliant painter, his father was a brilliant painter, and my grandfather's great, 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 great grandfather, Rembrandt, was also a really good painter. Yes, you heard me right. I'm not going to elaborate because today that really upsets me. I can't paint. However, what I can do is shape tone on the guitar and that comes down to the kind of pick you use. Okay, this is a medium pick and the reason I picked a medium is after all the statistics I've read, the average guitar player uses a medium pick and there's a reason for that. It doesn't provide a lot of resistance. It still hits the string. And, uh, you know, it has general contact with the string. However, if you take a really thick pick, you have a much bigger sound. Hear the tinny edge on that? And in some applications, a lot of people might like that. But you're losing a lot of tone. Tone and dynamic range on a guitar. I'll give you an example. That's the thin pick. Here's the thin. Hear how much volume came out of that? Okay, now I'll do a little phrase. That's the thin pick. Here's a thicker one. Hear me sweep up and down a dynamic range on that. Let me try to do the same thing with a medium pick. You can't get away from that pick attack. Tick, 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 tick. You hear that plastic. You don't have that with a thicker pick. Even quietly, it still has a tone. And it has a body to it. Here's a thinner one. Thicker one. It almost makes the guitar sound different. Okay, here's a phrase from Green Day. Thick pick. attack of it. Okay, sorry for the typos in that. So in another video, what I'm going to demonstrate is uh, one of the things I learned being a producer and an arranger is inside of a track, when you introduce an gu acoustic guitar part, that plastic kind of percussive noise. There's a real famous recording from the early 70s by a band called Emerson, Lake and Palmer. Go listen to it. It's called From the Beginning. You'll hear this phrase. And right particularly at this part, you'll hear all that thin pick noise. Here's the same phrase.
Now I'm playing with the same amount of strength, so you can hear not only a volume difference, but a tone difference. That's barely audible. I'm using the same amount of energy. Hear the difference? It's like half the guitar. All right, so just some concepts. And in my studio with new students, I introduce everything that I'm telling you, like in the last video uh, with the whole idea about rhythm, that was even something that I introduced initially because it's all about feeling that beat and taking it to the song. So I initially start a lot of my students with picks that are much heavier than mediums. And it's difficult to learn on, but it shapes your tone and it shapes you as a player. And it's a really, really good starting point. And if you've already uh, started your career playing medium picks like I did, I played medium picks well into my career. And then I was on a bus one day in Front Royal, Virginia, and this guy sitting on his porch playing an acoustic guitar got so much sound. And I realized he was using a really thick pick. And next to my mediums, it just blew me away, the difference in tone. So I immediately switched. At that time, because I'd been playing professionally, it took me like uh, six months to get really used to this because I was already used to the kinesthetics of how a medium pick felt. But if you're starting, the learning curve is a lot easier. So if any one of you are beginners, please be inspired to switch picks. I promise you, you'll have more control, more tone, and more range, and it will absolutely revolutionize your playing. All right, guys. Bye.